Hello and welcome to my 6th Maya video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to UV map a box. So let's begin. Create a cube and then hit 5 for shaded. And I'm going to um, scale this box up until it looks kind of like um, my motherboard box that we're going to be UV mapping. Alright, that looks good enough. So let's um, get to the UV mapping stage. Let's first select our um, object here and then go down over here and right click and go perspective UV texture editor now you have your UV texture editor over to your right and I'm going to um, first start by getting a texture in here because we need to get some pixels on this uh, in this box so let's go up to window render and editors hypershade and then let's whip on a Lambert and then a file node using the middle mouse button Little mouse again, drop it on there, color, select your file node by double clicking on it, um, image name, find your image, go through here, and then drag it onto the 3D viewport, hit 6 for textured, okay let's close our hypershade, select our box, alright, I'm going to turn off this grid in the, um, in the UV image editor here by going up to view, grid, okay. Um, I'm also going to turn on uh, image shade UVs. It's easier on the eyes when you're uh, UV mapping and you can sort of speed it up sometimes. Um, so let's select a face on our um, on our box and then uh, go into polygons mode up here and then create UVs. Create UVs based on camera Press this button right here, the um, separate the selected UV. Okay, now we have one single UV, four vertices, or four UV points. So let's grab these little UV points and set them to the areas that we want, or the uh, pixels that we want to be on the uh, face. I'm just grabbing the vertices, went under UVs, right clicked. Just like how you um, select faces in your 3D viewport. Okay, now I got the front good. Let's get another side here. I don't even need to actually uh, use the um, the create UVs based on camera. I can just press this button here, and that would detach the uh, UVs. And I can just throw my UVs in the correct area, so I grab the right pixels and throw it on the on the model. Again I press the separate select a UVs button and I just drag these UVs onto the right areas and remember just hold right click choose UVs you can even um, select faces or edges. Okay so now we have a problem here. Um, you see this is not uh, showing up correctly so what we need to do is select these UVs, and then hit E for rotate, and then um, we'll go around like that, scale it down. Um, now it should look right, and as you can see, it looks good. But um, this little uh, groove here, sort of, should be over here. So let's select these UVs again, hit R. Uh, then scale it in the Y axis. It'll turn red, but don't let that scare you. It's just to warn you if your um, UVs are reverse, which isn't a problem at all. Alright, so that looks pretty decent. And that's going to conclude this tutorial. Um, I should show you one last thing though. Um, if you had all your UV set up in here, um, you use the uh, create based on camera and you also use the sew UVs button here. I'll have a more advanced tutorial on UV mapping. So you can select a single uh, edge and sew them together. i will sew it to the related edge. Um, but once you have your UV map all set up in here and you want a texture in Photoshop, all you need to do is go up to polygons UV snapshot, and uh, then set these settings accordingly to what to what you want, and then um, hit OK, 
and it will save your UV map. You can open it up in, uh, in um, Photoshop and then save your output file and then import it into, uh, into Maya. So that's going to conclude this tutorial and please go to my YouTube page here and subscribe. Um, even donate if you want to. Um, but yeah, that's going to conclude this tutorial. Thanks for watching.